to this point, we've just been getting everything ready for DNA replication. DNA is separated by helicase, unwound by topoisomerase, and protected by single-strand DNA binding proteins. And now we come to the first real synthetic step in DNA replication. An enzyme called DNA primase synthesizes about 11 bases, and it synthesizes a sequence of RNA, not DNA. This RNA will serve as a primer for additional DNA synthesis. And you might think for a minute about why it starts with RNA. It turns out that the first steps in replication are error-prone. And by starting with RNA, which will have to be replaced, you can ensure the fidelity of the region of DNA where synthesis starts. Every time we start making DNA, it starts with a primer. And in cells, that primer is RNA. DNA primase interacts with the helix and helicase, forming the primosome, which creates the RNA primer. In the image, you can see this from the structure, the catalytic core of the primase. Remember the error-prone nature of that first synthetic process. The bases that are added are not always accurate, and that means they have to be replaced to ensure the accuracy of replication. The primase is slow compared to very fast DNA polymerases. The starting process, in other words, is harder, and you make more mistakes when you start.